today I'd like to show that the empty set is not a subset. If E is the empty set and A is some set, then by definition, E is a subset of A if every member of E is a member of A. Now, no mem because E is empty, no member of E is a member of A. Therefore, E is not a subset of A. And this is true because E has no members, so it follows automatically. Or every member of E, I can also say that every member of E is not a member of A, in which case it also follows that E is not a subset of A, and this is true because E has no members. In general, any true-false proposition, depending on members of E, can be proved either way because E has no members. That proof that I've just done and the fact that it can be proved either way is known as a vacuous proof. Now, actually, I really don't understand why the question even comes up because by definition, E is a subset of A if every member of E is a member of A. But E has no members, so I don't see why the definition would even be applied to come up with an inconclusive proof that E is the subset of A. Thank you.